Welcome back to The Talking Hedge. I'm Josh Kincaid, Capital Markets Analyst and host of your Cannabis Business Podcast. Today, we're gonna take a look at Puerto Rico as Consortium sells its core Puerto Rican assets and continues to focus on the Florida market. So Pritch Biotech ended up picking up Consortium's non-core operations in Puerto Rico. So the authorities approved that deal. Per the agreements, Pritch acquired the operational assets, including licenses and liabilities with a deal that was reported to be $670,000 in cash. That deal also comes with a royalty payment going to consortium receiving an undisclosed percentage, probably somewhere around the three to 6% range. So consortium's CEO said that the sale aligns with the company's goal to see value generated from non-core assets. That's a red flag to me to say that Puerto Rico doesn't offer value to non-core assets. Puerto Rico offers a lot of value. It just sounds like you're not making enough money in order to reap the benefits of the opportunities that Puerto Rico presents, like 4% corporate tax cap. So you have a 20% corporate tax cap right now in the US. If you move to Puerto Rico, it's the only place in the world as an American business or American individual that can go and work and not pay federal income tax. You pay Puerto Rico 4%. The reason why is because they don't have congressional representation. You can't have taxation without representation, meaning Puerto Rico is the only place in the world you can go and not pay federal income tax, whether that's Cuba, Iran, North Korea. It doesn't matter where you go. You have to pay taxes on the money you make, with the exception of one place in the world for an American, and that's Puerto Rico. For more information, take a look at Act 20 or Act 22 if you want to move down there personally and take advantage of some uh, places. 100% tax exemption if you move down there and then that way you can buy a house and all kinds of advantages. You need to be there at least six months a year in order to be a resident and make $250,000 in revenue for outside of Puerto Rico. So you can't open up a hot dog shop, make $250,000 selling hot dogs to locals. It's got to be something like, um, you know, people selling gold or Bitcoin or e-commerce or advice or anything. Just work from home now, basically, right? I mean, if you just go there. A lot of opportunities, take a look at it. As I've said before, I think 90, 95% of the CBD companies that don't have an entity in Puerto Rico, whether it's a bilingual call center uh, or R&D for terpenes or manufacturing of CBD products, if you're not down there, you're going to be paying way too much in taxes. Like California, for example, the total Puerto Rican total tax savings is 39%. If you're just a corporation and you don't move down there yourself, if you're not a you know LLC sole provider or whatever, even big companies can save 26% by going down there. So it doesn't really make sense not to have non-core assets in Puerto Rico. In addition to Act 20 and Act 22, there's Act 73 and 74. So there's tourism uh, and medical. So you can actually have a cannabis farm or hemp farm and have amazing exemptions like taxes on agricultural equipment is 100% tax exempt. So is property taxes on land. So with all of these benefits, it makes sense to have a strategic partnership down there. If you're not going to have your headquarters down there, which I wouldn't advise, I would have a headquarters in Canada. I would have your operations around the world, wherever you operate, and I would have an entity down in Puerto Rico. Again, it doesn't matter what that is, R&D, operations for CBD, uh, it doesn't matter. You have to have an entity down there in order to survive if you're a CBD company. Otherwise, nine out of 10 won't won't be around if they don't work in Puerto Rico. That's just my opinion though. So with that, we're going to roll this one up. I'm Josh Kincaid. This is The Talking Hedge. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe or don't. And I'm out. Don't forget to smash that like button on your way out and check out these other videos that we've got.